Welcome back, Town Squad, to another VGC 2016 live, um, live battles featuring more of the Gramble team, or exact, or actually featuring the Gramble team. If you're joining from my last video, I want to say thank you for joining me. If not, welcome aboard, my friend. We are using Gramble in the current VGC 2016 meta. We got, we actually, I thought the, the battle reset. We, we, it didn't. We're at like 16:36 right now. Gonna try to climb some more. We see a Trick Room slash Tailwind team with the Driftblum Lele. Uh, Metagross, Gyarados, Porygon 2, and a Marowak. So, this is going to be interesting. So, what do I want to do here? Uh, I think I'm going to go with my Driplum Finny. To make sure I can kind of trick room and then... Not to worry about, like, Gyarados and whatnot. So, I think I'm going to go Driplum. I'm going to go Finny. And then, how do I kill things like... I think I'm going to go Gyarados... I mean, I got those type of cocoa for the Gyarados, and maybe the Marowak, possibly. I don't know. Um, and then the last but not least, definitely need the Lego to kill things like the Lele. Marowak, yeah, you kill a lot. We're gonna go Nihilego Lego as well. But put him in the back, and that is gonna be the team right there, my friend. So, if you're excited to see the Grimble team live, show some love to like button down below, and let's get this battle on the way. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good game. This can go either way. I think you both lead the Driplum Lele, Driplum uh, Finny. But we'll see what goes down right now. My opponent, what is your lead, my friend? What is your lead? You see my Driplum and the Finny first. Up against, I'm going to say your Driplum and Lele. Indeed, it is. It's the battle of the Blimps and the Tapus right now. Who has the advantage of the bat? Maybe me, because I have Muddy Water. And I get my terrain, so you're going to lose your terrain stab boost. Or your terrain damage boost. So there goes my terrain. You can't will on me or anything either, because my terrain is up. So I could easily just Shadow Ball the Lele and Muddy Water. I think that's turn one right there for sure. It's just Shadow Ball the Lele. Or should I just go Tail and Protect? Because you may go Psyche MZ, Shadow Ball, can I Drift Blim? Even so, I'm going to go Tailwind here. Guarantee that to go up for me. And then I'm going to go Muddy Water, man. I'm going to go Muddy Water for days. Just get damage. Maybe some Axie drops. Who knows? Maybe he wants to bring that Marowak. My Driftblum wins a Speed Psy or some different, uh, different EV spread. So Tailwind is up. He goes Shadow Ball on my Driftblum. Shouldn't do it too, too much. Oh, I'm going to die to that game Z, aren't I? It's T-Bolt. On the Finny? That's fine by me. Okay. That was a lot of damage. Muddy Water connects on both Mons. Aggressive drop in the lane. That is actually really good. Double Aggressive drop. Let's go. We got talent, my friends. We got talent. That was beautiful. We're going to go Shadow Ball and Muddy Water again. Shadow Ball, the Lele. Because he probably protects here. I don't know if I outspeed him. I don't think I do, so I can't taunt it. So let's go Muddy Water again, play it safe. Let's do that. We got talent, my friends. Muddy Water pulling through. That is actually huge for us. Let's go. We're not going to go with Destiny Bond because I don't think you double team my, my Drift Plum here. I think you stay in with the Lele or you go protect Tailwind as well. So you get that extra turn of Tailwind as opposed to me. Because I got the advantage right now, but you will have it one turn longer if you go for it here. Uh, I wonder if you have Porygon in the back. Maybe bring the Porygon here. Either way, I'm content to go with my Shadow Ball, Muddy Water. But Oh, yeah. Lele is gone. It's a crit. We got the talent today, my friends. Let's go. Shadow Ball going to go for my Dripplum over here. Just about kill him. Destiny Bond is definitely in effect now. Solo target Muddy Water. And that will be good damage in that Dripplum here. Is that a crit again? No. And a double. I got all the talent in the world today, man. I don't know what is going on, but I got talent for days right now, my friends. That is going to allow Finn to get some more HP back right there. We are feeling good, alive, and content with what we got going on right now. I don't agree with my opponent's T-Ball play, but it would have worked out a lot better if it ain't credit. But I think Tailwind, I mean, Shadow Ball Money Water does kill. So now we just put, taunt Porygon 2 and Shadow Ball his Drift Blim. Try to take it out. Taunt that Porygon 2. We are not going to have Trick him going up. Forget that noise. We're going to do this. No Destiny Bind ship. We don't want to reveal it. We want to make sure... With the next two accuracy as well, I'm pretty sure his Drift Blim is hurting. Uh, so we're just going to go Shadow Ball, try to take that thing out. Boom, is it gone? Yes, it is. 
Beautiful. We got mad lucky in this game, but we also played it right as well, I feel. So, we're pretty happy right now. You can't use Trick Room. Yeah, I think we're going to see a quit here. Oh, watch right here, my friends. It's been a while since I've been seen the channel. Just watch the screen right here. Just watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Keep your eye on that spot. I'm just right there. Metagross comes in. All right, bullet punches in effect. Uh, no matter what, I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond here, in case you don't have bullet punch. So fight. Let's go for that Destiny Bond. And then let's go for that Muddy Water. Because we have a Nihilego and a... We didn't bring Gramble because he wouldn't be that good in this match. We need to go and Coco in the back. So we just do that. Destiny Bond and Muddy Water. Nothing crazy going on right now. My opponent's going to play it out. Do you have the bullet punch? I'm pretty sure you do. No, you don't. You Did you go for him or no? Let's find out that this Muddy Water. We hit in all the Muddy Waters. Boom. Damage on both mons. Not a lot, but not a little either. Accuracy joining the Porygon too. We are feeling incredible. Mini Mesh goes up on my Finny, I believe. He's gonna be dead. Just came with living and an ice from the kill. Oh yeah. Oh, that is huge, my friends. That is huge. That is that. Goodbye, Porygon 2. That is the game right there. There's not much you can do there, my friend. That feels great, to be honest. We're just gonna bring in the Coco, go for Electrium Z, and that'll be game one going to me. Telling this guy, we don't care. Here comes the Coco. And like I said, we have Nature's Madness. We have Electrium Z. We are Wild Charge. We are a physical Coco. And, uh, pretty sure it's the game, my friends. I'm surprised Mini Mansion and Oko, man. I guess you have a really bulky, uh, Metagross here. That was uh, surprising. Pretty sure the game's in the bag. Little Giggle will have that Metagross slot. And then, of course, uh, just Muddy Water because that's what we gotta do. This is where I want score, but I don't got it. And that is the game going to the Talent Squad, my friends. Now, yes, we did get lucky, but we played that game properly. So I'm not, like... I mean, my opponent is probably upset. Can't blame them for like, We got extra drops galore. You didn't miss any hit sacks. The only thing that mattered was maybe that crit on, on, the, on the Lele. I don't know if it did, but we need the right plays. We're up with our performance. And we're going to go into game two right now. Feeling alive, baby. Oh, it's been a while since we have VGC in the channel. But VGC is back hot and better than ever, my friends. Let's get into game two coming in hot right now. We are at a 16.53. Rating my friends and that is not bad at all Not bad at all I'm gonna put some Guzma music on and Take it from here. Look at this squad man. Look at this squad. We got Granville on the team ready to do some work Look at him go look at his giant fangs. All right. He's our intimidate user. He's our answer to I don't know what uh, Porygons and I'm Porygons things like Snorlaxes 1723 rating with our friend Rain over here and guess who's a great lead? Freaking Gramble is. Gramble is going to lead the pack for us. We're going to go Gramble. I kind of go Gramble Coco and just go with U-Turn and... Yeah. Well, I should go Gramble and Nihilego is what I should do. Let's do that. Gramble and Nihilego. Back it up with... Who is our backup plan to Magnezone and Lax? Coco is pretty solid. Uh, Nihilego kills the Garchomp. Gramble kills the Garchomp. Gar Gramble kills the Snorlax. Grimbo really hurts Porygon. Grimbo kills the Magnezone. So, Gramble and the Hilego. Uh, Kartana is pretty solid as well. And then how do I kill your Coco, though? I might be forced to Drift from Finny. Or I could just leave Drift from Finny and taunt Por. You, you, you're going to go, like... Porygon Coco, I think. That's fine. I'm still gonna go Gramble and the Lego. Uh I think I gotta bring my Coco for just damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go my Coco. I don't think do I bring Finny? Finny's kinda bot in this matchup. We'll go Coco Cartana. Let's do that. We're not gonna bring Finny. I'm scared to bring Finny. He's good against Garchomp, but I'm not going to get Ramble. We're putting a lot of faith in Grimble for this game, guys. We could have easily gotten uh, Dripplim Finny here. But no. No. I'm not about that life every game. I want to switch it up. I want to have variety. I want to win. Here we go. 
Granbull making his VGC debut on the channel. Let's get it. Like I said, poor guy 2 and Coco were leading. Exactly why didn't go drip on Finny. So, here we go. Granbull Nihilego. There they are, my friends. There they are. I want to sludge bomb Coco and play rough the Porygon too. Then I think that's what I'm going to do. Timmy that goes off. Lawyer attacks. If that's a physical Coco, great. If not, we lower Porygon 2's return damage. Unless you get an attack boost right back here. You do. So the thing is, Gramble's ability went off first, which means Gramble is naturally faster than Porygon 2, which means that Porygon 2 probably has a relaxed nature and not bold. So. We're just going to play rough the Porygon 2 and Sludge Bomb. Do you have any Pokemon? I mean, you could probably go for a Garchomp to that Coco slot. Or Magnezone. So what I do here is call a switch on the Coco slot and bring in, like, my Kartana or something. Well, I could bring in my Coco. Nah, I'll bring my Kartana here. But then the Porygon 2 might attack Nihilego. Play it safe, just sludge bomb. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I ran out of time. I ran out of time. P protect works too. That works too. Because I think he might protect the Coco as well. Let's see here. Wait, but what? I went for play. I clicked play rough on the Porygon slot. So I easily. I could have killed. Oh, I'm salt. Well, I'm faster than that, at least. So I'm just going to play rough the Porygon slot. Well, actually, you know what? Just kill this Porygon. Fight. Fall out pummeling the Porygon. And then just... Sludge Bomb has 90 and Rock Power Gem has 80, correct? Yeah. Just kill Porygon. Let's do that. Let's just do that. Why not, man? Why not? Let's do that. Didn't want to protect there, but it happens. T-Bolt and Terrain is going to hurt Nihilego like, a little bit more than we wanted to. But the same thing, there's like really not much at all. Fightinium Z go off. No, put it in the Coco. Into the Sante. Alright, Gramble with Fightinium Z. See if I had ground the MZ here, I could go for the Coco, but it's okay. We want to kill this Porygon 2 right here. I think this and Sludge Bomb should be enough with the Life Orb boost. Let's find that. This should do at least 64% of the Porygon, like I said in my team builder video. Blah! Big damage there. Oh my god, I did more. It did more! And we're gonna get that beast boost. Goodbye, Porygon 2. Very nice. And we see a T-Bolt on our Nihilego, most likely. Blah, 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 blah. This thing not attacking me is telling me you're sashed. Fall switch on uh, Gramble. It's gonna hurt pretty bad there. But we killed Porygon 2, man. Trick room is up, and Gramble is slow. So, who's coming in now? Who's coming in now? Magnezone or not a chomp? Magnezone it is. Blah, 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 blah. Right, we're gonna go for close combat on the Magnezone. He might have a berry, he might have sturdy. I don't think his Magnapulse Snorlax comes in. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Alright, close combat, Magnezone, and just sludge bomb the lax, try to poison it. Trick me up is going to be a pain in the ass right now. But Madison might be uh, modest. And if he is, I'm a lot, he's a lot faster than me. But we'll find out. We don't, we don't know if he's quiet or not yet. I mean, it could be quiet. I don't know. We got to find out. Maybe we got to find out. Return goes. Gramble is gone then. Gramble is gone. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Gramble. So you're going to flash count on the Lego. Okay. That's fine. Two kills. Two kills, my friend. Two kills. Can I live that? Nah, it's too strong. Ah, I'm so upset to turn one gargled. I'm so upset to turn one. I'm so upset to turn one, man. Should not have been double protect. Should have been play rough, and then I could have got slipped up too. That's what's really weird. He just called me not going for it. All right, my physical Coco comes in. We have no Z move on deck. Use it on Gramble already. And Trick Room is down to what? Three turns left. Two turns left. Two turns of the Trick Room. All right. So what we're gonna do here is. Nature's Madness, the Magnezone. Actually, forget that. Let's just protect with the Coco. Because you're going to go like High Horsepower. Protect with the Coco. And Sacred Sword, the... 
Magnezone or like should I go for Lax here? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. So if he's gonna go high horsepower here. If he goes curse, he got me really good rock slide. That's a pain in the ass. Can I dodge it? That's gonna pop my sash, and I might die to a discharge or a T bolt or something. There's absolutely nothing. All right. That will kill my Kartana here. He got it. He played well. I can't be upset at this. He got me good. He got me good here. All right, that's the end of my Kartana. No way I'm living that. No way I'm living that. I would love to, but it's not happening. Okay, he got a fair and square. He got me good. He got me good. We're just going to run away, go to game three. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I'm upset the way I played that. But my opponent got me good. I took the Trick Room Bait. Uh, if I kill that Coco earlier, though, much different story. I'm just mad I didn't get that Sledge Bomb off like I should have. I gargled Fotsin around with the me uh, stuff. I pressed B too many times. I gargled that. Uh, I would lose fair and square. It's my own fault. Grable did great, though. Grable did his job. He killed the Porygon here. Uh, but I think for now on, I got to save my... my uh, my Phytanium Z for the Snorlax, not the Porygon. Because Porygon is no threat to those mods at all. I mean, Ice Beam and T-Ball in the terrain is going to hurt Gramble more than I wanted to, but... I could have done a lot better there. I could have done a lot better. That's alright, though. It's alright. It's alright. We're going to go to Game 3. Gotta shake off that rust, baby. Gotta shake off that rust. Press no, press yes, and here we go. Continue battling. We'll see what goes down for game. We still have a net game of a of a of radiant, so that's fine. We'll put it on regular. You know what? We'll put on uh, let's put on some Gladion. Let's do that. We got sixteen forty one going now. But you are set opponent from a so good Japan with about a hundred less uh rating than us, and it's Porygon, Snorlax, Metagross, Chomp, Coco, and Bulu. All right. So we just learned from our mistake last. time. We learned from our mistake last time. Uh. I want to go Driplum Finny, but Coco and Porygon just destroy that. Absolutely destroy that. So I'm going to go Coco Nihilego, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Because I don't really use Kartana Sash. I'm going to go Gramble Nihilego. And probably Drifblim Finny in the back. Because the Snorlax has high horsepower, but you can't hurt each other. Because Drifblim can't hurt Snorlax, so Snorlax can't hurt me. Hmm. So Drifblim could at least stall against him. I feel like I need... Well, I have, I have Nihilego for the Gramble. I mean, for the Bulu. Um... I bring the wild charge Coco. Drift Blim and Finny in the back. We'll do that. It's going to be very weird, but we'll, we're going to put the Faith of Gribble again for this game. 3 Saber goes down against my opponent right now from Ahsoka Japan. And hopefully we go 2-1. I don't want to go 1-2. and two. No way, Jose. We're winning this game right now. We're winning this game right now. Physical Coco would not be used this matchup. And yeah. We're going to do this, my friends. We're going to do this. Nihilo and Bram will come out. Show me the Coco Porygon. Coco Metagross. Yeah, you got me really good. Because you can just medium match the Nihilego, and yeah. That's bad news, Bears. Hmm. Free body, obviously, we can't do Jack there. I mean, he, he probably goes Protect and medium match, and it's Blue can stay exposed or stay out. So we're just going to go for a Fire Fang on the Metagross. And turn Nihilego into a Protect here. We're going to call Coco Protects and Metagross goes Medium Mesh. That's what we're calling turn one. I think I think Rainbow gets it exposed and Coco goes to Protect here. Because he knows Nihilego outspeeds Metagross, so he's kind of scared of the Sludge Bomb. Either Coco turns into Garchomp or Coco Protects. That's what I'm calling right now. We just get a free Fire Finger Metagross. All right. Is he going Volt Switch on Gramble maybe? It's physical. You know what? That matters a lot. That oh, that to me matters a lot now. 
Oh, Granville, hang in there, buddy. Of course, dude. That sucks so way That actually old code. That actually old code. He has to be. Hey, he's banded. He's banded. I'll bring in Driplum now. Definitely a banded Metagross. I think that should not have. Oh, I, I don't know actually. I'm not gonna bring in Finny. Just gonna leave Nihilego in. Actually, I'll leave Nihilego in. I'm just gonna go Tailwinds and bring in the Finny. Because so Metagross is a plus one attack. He's probably gonna take out the Drift one here. I could just go Destiny Bond Sludge Bomb. Hmm. I'll bring in the Finny. I'm gonna have to bring in the Finny here. This is a weird play, but I'll go for it. I'll go for it. Give it a terrain boost. Make sure watch it does less. You had negative one attack as well, since so it didn't matter on that Coco. So we'll do that. Get our terrain, get our little boost here, and then take a medium mesh of the throw, most likely. Metagross is gone. Oh, now I'm really happy about this. I am really happy about this right now. Watchers goes off on the Finny at Neg 1. Not going to do much at all. Beautiful. I'm very happy to play now. Good, good, good. Talon goes up. Beautiful. All right. That was a, I'm surprised you that Metagross out. Beautiful. Okay. Now, Talon is up. Uh... Do you know Shadow Ball Coco? Should I taunt the lax so we can't recycle and stuff? He's gonna go for like return and stuff. And if he curses, it doesn't matter because I have all special attackers left. So we're just gonna go Money Water here. We're gonna go Money Water. Should I get some accuracy drops? We'll do that. I should be going Moonblast in the Coco. It should be double in the Coco, but I'm gonna play it safe and go Money Water here. I think that should pay off big time if we go Money Ward here, especially if we get action drops. Coco is gone. See, I'm happy I didn't go Moonblast now. Porygon 2, so we can taunt that thing as you go Curse here, most likely. So we'll taunt Porygon 2, and then, yeah. Shabon gonna do Jack. Money Warder goes off. Give me the action drop and Snorlax, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. So happy. Yes, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, alright, uh... Taunt Porygon and go for... Moonblast on Lax, maybe? I mean, Taunt Porygon and then go for... I don't even know what... He's gonna attack Finny, so I'll bring in Nihilego. And I will Taunt Porygon. I'm gonna lose my Spadef boost, but that's fine. I need to destroy this Lax ASAP. And I can't do Jack with the Drip Room, so. We'll do that. We'll taunt the Porygon so you can't go for Trick Room. We're gonna see another curse, maybe from the Snorlax, or. Yeah. Plus two attack now. Defense ain't gonna matter. He's Neg 1 accuracy as well, though. We gotta open those misses. We gotta hope for misses, man. We gotta hope for misses here. Alright, Finny, we're at high HP. So is that plus two. We need misses on that lax. Fight. Sludge Bomb, we can't poison you either because of the terrain. Oh, uh, we're gonna bring we're gonna go for a I could bring in mm. I could just bring Drifflin back in. Hopefully he takes the bait. I'll bring Drifflin back in here. And then I'm gonna muddy water. Try to get some extra drops. I'm gonna double switch. Try to bait the high horse parents in the Lego. Wait to turn a Snorlax. That's what I'm gonna do. He might just return Finny, but I'm gonna try to make some plays right now. Porygon 2 is out of here. See Metagross come back in? Yeah, Metagross comes back in. Muddy Ward is gonna go off. Alright. Well, we, got, we already got one extra drop on him, so that's good. Maybe go to Metagross as well. That'd be nice. Big damage. That's probably crit. Facade on the, yeah, on the Finny. Ain't doing a lot, though, man. He's not doing a lot. Like. 
Town does not really matter. Do I want a Shadow Ball Metagross? Would he actually, like, would he actually like, accept Metagross taking Shadow Ball damage here? I don't know. I'm just gonna go Muddy Water again. Shadow Ball Muddy Water. I think Porygon 2 comes back in, but we'll see. So far, so good. We're down a Mon, but like... He's gotta kill Finney so Torrent goes away, so yeah, Shadow Ball goes off on the Metagross. Very nice. And then Muddy Water goes off here to finish it off. Beautiful. Metagross is gone. Huge threat is gone. Actually, jump into Snorlax again. Drop that accuracy. Drop that accuracy. Nah, it's not going to. Metagross is dead at least, though. That's nice. Facade kills Finny, and then Porygon 2 comes back in. Ah, uh, just shy. Just shy, man. Just shy. See, now it would be a little Willow, which is amazing. I wish I could Willow here instead of debonding. But, we gotta do this, man. Type of Coco comes in. Ooh. I wonder if I'm still faster. Alright, I'm gonna go with Destiny Bottle of Drift Blim. And then Sludge Bomb the Coco, try to get the Beast Boost. The Snorks is already at plus two. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. I think I lose though, I think I messed up. While I charge in the Drift Blim, he's probably dead. So I don't know how to speed him. Yeah, he's gone. And then a High Horsepower just kills me, unless Sludge Bomb kills you here. And then, uh. Yeah, I, I gotta live. I gotta live. You gotta miss. I gotta hope for a miss. I gotta hope for a miss. Miss, 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 high horsepower. Missed high horsepower. Huge. Friggin' huge. Porygon comes back in here. And I'm gonna sludge on the Snorlax at plus one. There it is. There it is. Okay, this is life. There is life, my friends. There is life. There is life in this game right now. Fight, Sludge Bomb, lacks at plus one. Hopefully it's enough. He's very especially bulky. It's not going to be. Let's be honest. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this. He might go recycle here, but yeah, not enough at plus one. If he doesn't go recycle, he misses again. That'd be huge. Barry goes off. Yeah, he's gonna live again. Dodge it. We dodge it. Chicken goes up though, we gotta dodge again. It's not gonna happen, but we're trying, man. We're trying so hard. We're trying so hard. We're trying so hard. Miss another. Miss another, baby. Miss another, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah! That's game. Alright, GG. We had fun, though. We had fun. We had fun using a fun team in the BGC meta right now. It sucks we did lose two of them, but it's a fun team, guys. Like I said, it's not going to do anything crazy. Uh, we lost Scramble a little too early to that medium mash from that Choice Bender Metagross. At least I'm assuming it's Choice Bender. But that is that, my friends. Thank you for watching. As always, I am into talent. You are the glorious talent squad. If you enjoyed today's episode, show some love to like button down below. And uh, that is it, my friends. Have a great day, and I will catch you next time.